Hello, welcome to IFMSA Joe. By watching this video, you will get everything you need to know about plenaries. The plenary is the time when voting on all decisions of our organization is made. It is held twice a year in March in GA and in September in GA. Who can attend? IFMSA Joe teams of officials, the plenary team, local committee representatives, any medical student, invited guests, organizations in official relationship with IFMSA Joe, and external advisors. The plenary team The chairperson Responsible for the conduct of the plenary and for giving his or her ruling on all matters of procedure and order. The vice chairperson divides work with the chairperson and takes over the chairperson if he or she is not present. The secretary takes plenary minutes. The secretary assistant assists the secretary in taking plenary minutes and works closely with the rest of the plenary team. The helpers, they are responsible for the logistics in the plenary hall. The Constitution Credentials Committee, they are responsible for interpretation of the Constitution and bylaws. The Roll Call At the start of each session, all representatives with voting rights will be called to see if they are present, and voting cards will be handed out. A Motion It's a decision that has been submitted to the chairperson to schedule on the agenda of the plenary. For example, to elect the one watching this video as the master of plenaries. Procedural motion, a decision that isn't tabled originally in the agenda but is called for during the meeting. The proposer, the person who sent the motion to the chair. The seconder, another person who supports the proposer's motion. A direct negative, is when a representative expresses disfavor of a motion, a vote will then be called for that motion. Nemo contra is when a motion passes without any direct negatives. A point of information is when a person expresses some information relevant to the topic or asks a short clarifying question. A point of order is when a person expresses some information concerning misinterpretation of the constitution and bylaws. Voting majorities there are four voting majorities, simple majority, relative majority, absolute majority, and two-thirds majority. Simple majority is when more votes are in favor than against, and abstentions do not count. Here there are three in favor and two against. Abstentions do not count, so the motion passes. Absolute majority more than 50% of all the votes are in favor and abstentions do count. Here there are 4 in favor, 1 against, and 3 abstentions, so the motion fails. Relative majority The proposal receiving the most votes carries, and abstentions do not count. In case there are more votes against than for any of the proposals, all proposals fail. In scenario 1, proposal A gets 3, and proposal B gets 1. Against both are 3 and 2 abstentions, so proposal A passes. In scenario 2, proposal A gets 2, proposal B gets 1, and 3 against both, and 3 abstentions, so both proposals fail. Two-thirds majority The number of votes in favor is at least the double of the number of votes against and abstentions do not count. So here there are 4 in favor, 2 against, and the abstentions do not count. So the motion passes. To know more about the procedure, you can pause the video and get a closer look on this diagram. Thank you for watching and have a great plenary.